in Homs, the situation is too bad. No electricity, no water, no, no good circumstances to live in. We can't go out, we can't go to school. We went to Damascus first, before Lebanon, and then stayed there uh, for uh, one year and a half. And also but the circumstances also became too bad. The salary cannot uh, be enough to buy anything, to buy food, to buy clothes, anything. Uh, so we moved to Lebanon, we tried to uh, go to school, but also in uh, Lebanon, gradually the situation became too bad also for the Syrian. So we uh, left uh, Lebanon to Turkey. We tried to do something in Turkey, but uh, the language is too difficult to learn. We don't have any job and the house's uh, rent is too high and uh, the people in the hate Syrians. How many places have you lived since you left your home in Homs? Oh, too many. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be counted. In Damascus, one. In Lebanon, uh, we stayed for uh, four houses. <laughs> yeah, in Turkey, two or three also. Just going from place to place to, to, in order to, to, to have a good future for our kids. So when you left Homs, you weren't planning to try to come to Europe? No. No, I just uh, want to go to Lebanon in order to go away from the war in Syria. How did you leave Turkey? We uh, came from Izmir to Greece by small boat uh, from rubber. A rubber dinghy? Yeah, and we were going to die to sink our... It's, uh, go into the sea, the water was to here. Up to your neck? Yeah, and we throw all our uh, clothes and things, medicines, clothes, everything. We lost everything. Even money, even uh, everything, we lost any, everything. Let me ask your daughters, can, yeah. you, can you swim? Um, little. Swim. swim. Yeah. A little bit, you yeah. can swim a little bit. Yeah. What, what was it like in the water? Oh, oh very bad. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, what were you thinking? So what you are thinking? Uh, she was thinking uh, about death and uh, she was crying and saying, God, please help my family. Uh, my cousin was holding four uh, children with us, holding them up from the water. It was hor horrible, terrible. I can't uh, believe that we arrived. We thank God that we arrived safely. So you arrived in Greece. When, when was this? About 10 or 11 August. We arrived on um, Mytilene. And then from there you went to? We went by a ship to Athena. To Athens? Yeah. yeah. So why did you decide after four years of traveling mm. to leave Greece? In order to go to Germany. Why Germany? Uh, I have my relatives are there. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How did you travel to Hungary? Oh my God. How did you to Hungary? We went first to Macedonia, then to Serbia. Uh, we were running according the <laughs> borders and the police were uh, uh, pushing, uh, throwing uh, bombs on the us. The tear gas. Yeah, yeah. It was terrible, terrible. Through the forest and uh, <laughs> across the rivers. <laughs> Jumping across the fields, yeah. fence. <laughs> cut, cut. We, you were cutting the wire of the fence. Yeah, yeah. Did you worry that you would become split up as a family, that you would lose each other? Yeah, we tried to Serbia. hold each other and run. You were holding hands all yeah, the way? Yeah, yeah. We tried all the time and I was trying to push him in front of me. If I stopped, if the policeman stopped me, it's okay. Just I want to be my children to be in safe. I, if, if I don't cross the borders, it's okay. Just I want my family in safe. You were prepared to be separated from your daughters to allow them to go? I have to. I, I don't want to separate them, but if I'm obliged, it's okay. Just see they to be safe. <laughs> we tried today to go out from Hungary. They stopped us. They, they didn't let us go out of the tra to the train. I don't know why we, have, we are obliged to stay in this country. We don't want to stay here. The police told me that Germany is closed here border. They said that it is a political matter. They told me that. And how do you feel about that when for you this is a matter of your future life and you're being told this is about politics? I I will tell I will tell you. I'll tell you. All the governments make this war 
to see on Syria. I don't know why, but they have their hands. They put their hands in everything, even in the war. And now they stop us and prevented us to go to their countries. So where we go? Where we go? We can't stay in the war. The president there will kill us and they will do something bad to my children, to my daughters. I can't send them to any school. And the other countries stopped us and prevented us from going to their countries, even the Arab, even the Arab countries. Do you think you will make it to Germany? Yeah, I will make it. I will try and try and try. And when you get there, what are you hoping for? Oh, I hope to, to stay at home, a small place, me and my children, my husband, to have nice work, have something to do, help others. Future, another future. I, I wish I could uh, bring my family from Syria. Yeah, my brothers, my mother, father are all there. I wish they would be okay. I, I'll try to bring them for me. I don't know if I can, but I wish. The terrible way. We have been now about 25 days in this way. I hope we will do it.